Good evening. I'm Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com on uh, Wednesday, March 18th. Okay, gold. Uh, ultimately, we're going to get to a particular gold stock, but I wanted to go over gold over the last few days. You know, it really hasn't gotten much attention because the whole Crimea thing is turning out to be much ado about nothing, at least from a market standpoint. The other stuff, don't get me wrong, I'm not minimizing um, the political aspect of that and the geopolitical aspect of that. However, um, unless somebody's here by mistake, I guarantee that not one person is interested in hearing my view on geopolitics in this area. And that would be frankly because I don't know squat about it. I just know this, the market's no longer <clears throat> buying gold with the excuse that, oh, it's a, it's a safe haven. It's generally not a safe haven. Gold didn't really scream when the cannon started firing in Iraq. Um, so it's really not a lot of things that are said about gold um, just frankly don't stand up to scrutiny. It's kind of like economic theory. Most of those theories are great in the classroom. They just don't work worth a whatever um, in the real world. So with gold, just trade the chart. And here's what we know. A lot of guys called the double bottom here. I wasn't one of them because I just wanted to see how the stock traded. I wasn't really interested in that. Um, and I also recognized this downtrend. Okay, so now you look at this and now we're getting more of a bullish configuration, aren't we? So we get a breakout above this trend line, above the 200 day moving average, and now a little kind of a pullback to this general area right here. Okay, so I'm looking at gold and I see the pullback and this looks like a really positive thing. This looks like a really good thing. So I'm looking around at different gold miners to trade. First of all, let's look at the gold mining stocks. They kind of look the same. Um, how about the, the junior miners? They look kind of the same. So I'm looking for a stock that I can trade. And lo and behold, Yamana Gold. I like this here because we see that gold's had a little pullback and it looks like it's getting a bounce. A lot of these gold stocks have been working really well, but the thing about Yamana Gold is it's trading right along the 50-day moving average. It's got the zigzags here tracking right along support um, of by the 200-day moving average, a little false breakout, a pullback. This is a perfect setup. Low risk setup, you're buying right here, like right here. You keep a stop just a little bit below the 50 day moving average. And if the stock moves according to Hoyle, if it moves like we think it's gonna, this is gonna start moving higher. You're profitable in the trade and then you can basically remove your stop uh, because at least you're making money and you let the trade stand um, on its own. So anyway, I hope this helps. 50-day um, moving average crossing the 200, even more, more better. That's like mo better. Um, so just keep an eye on this. This is going to work for you. And also just a note, uh, there you won't be getting a, uh, a video um, tomorrow night on Wednesday night because I've got a procedure, a follow-up procedure on my um, jaw. So I'll uh, see you guys on Thursday.